All right, guys, I don't know a ton about this. I'm, I'm reading about this right now. My partner, Ryan, calls me, tells me to go to a dot com. Apparently, Bo Nickel is being questioned for cheating. Now, that's a very strong word. Cheating is a tremendously strong word, but this is what he's being accused. And Bo Nickel respond to it, and Bo used the word himself, which I think was a big mistake. But Bo used the word. He said, I would never want to win that way. I am not a cheater. So now we're dealing with the word cheat. I mean, right, that's a massive word. Why would you why would you possibly bring that word into it? I mean, how would story goes like this? Bo hits Pickett in the nuts. Bo gets a takedown. The takedown or the lack of defense by Pickett was largely predicated on the pain and the distraction caused by the kick to the nuts, which, by the way, is not allowed. Okay. Cheated, that sounds hard to me. Even if Bo kicked him in the nuts, even if we can rewind the tape, which we've got four different angles, like for sure we can figure this out. If Bo's shot landed low, that doesn't mean he cheated unless he did it intentionally. I mean, are, are you with me on that? Like, it's very weird. It's, it's, it's this very strong language by both sides. Bo used the word cheat when he rebuked this. Okay, great. So I'm, I'm admitting to you that I'm not an expert on it. I, it was just coming to my attention. But if I was to give a response, it would go something like this. What are you trying to achieve? What is the point? Because the article that I read, Pickett's team would like to appeal this with the commission. They would like to show that there was a low blow, show that that's against the rules, prove that that impacted the outcome, and get it switched to a no contest. Okay. I won't give Pickett a hard time. I'll just share with you. I, I don't personally understand it. I don't personally understand what a no contest. I, I, I don't get it. Are you trying to get a rematch? Does this affect your contract? Do you believe that there's a certain pay that comes with a no contest that did not happen with a defeat? Because there's not. I'm not looking to be a jerk about it. I'll just tell you your contract. You don't get paid more. Let's say we go to the commission. So say so whatever your team is and whatever lawyer there is, whatever involvement there is, and maybe you fly in, maybe you get a hotel, what, what, whatever this is, when it's done, you don't get a check. Are you aware of that? Perhaps you are. Perhaps this is not about money. This is about right and wrong. Right versus wrong, a loss versus a no contest. What difference does that make? I'm asking. I'm not passing a judgment. I'm asking, what difference does that make? You were hit low. I haven't seen the tape on this. I believe you. If I, if I was a jury of your peers to tell you right now, I could stop you right there. I believe you. I just, I just don't think somebody would make that up. I've ever, in my entire life, and I've been in combat since I was nine years old, I have never even heard of somebody claiming I was hitting the nuts when they weren't. There's a first time for everything, uh, but this is Chael's story. In my life, in practice or in competition, no, it's because I was looking for a break or they were tired. I thought the referee would help. But I've never seen anybody claim, oh my God, he hit me in the balls when he wasn't hit the balls. So I believe him. I believe him. But, but let me stop you right there, okay? Let, let me take that as evidence. And now let me fast forward one hour. Because that's when John Jones hit the ring. And within five seconds, John Jones had a professional kickboxer who used to be a world champion kick him right in the dick. In front of the world. Now maybe, now maybe, not now we need to get Brasari and the team and get in the room with the edit and we need to zone in on this. Now maybe, for sure, a 250-pound former world champion kicked John Jones in the dick. For sure. And it hurt him, for sure. And he grimaced and he pulled back and the referee stepped in and the surreal gone apologized. And then he regrouped and whipped his ass. I mean, I'm just sharing with you. Like, if we're, if we're going to come out and we're going to say, he kicked me low and impacted the fight. And I want a fair shake and that's not it. And my defense is, I'll listen to you. I, I, I don't think the picket is wrong for doing this. I just don't understand it. Does he understand in his contract, this doesn't come with a check. And that's what we're fighting for. You, we're, we're fighting for money. Is, is that clear? Because, and if it's not, if you're fighting for some other reason, I'm not against you. I will listen. If on principle, you believe a loss and a no contest and the fans that affects your car, I will listen. 
But as a viewer, one hour later, a 35 year old man experienced much worse without even seeing. I, I could only imagine a professional heavyweight kickboxer kicking you in the nuts. Took a deep breath, he regrouped, and he whipped his ass. You need to consider that. There's times to speak up. There's times to claim foul ball. And there's other times that you realize, man, this is a rough sport. You got me tonight. Somewhere down the road, I'm going to get somebody else. Maybe the referee call it. Maybe it's kind of like the chains in football. It's not perfect, but at least in theory, at least in theory, over time, if we call this consistency consistently, It'll all even out.